So you want to learn how to light your scene without actually using any lights. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to actually light a scene using planes with an emission shader instead of using a lamp for, you know, a point lamp or a sun lamp or hemisphere lamp or anything like that. Um, it has a much softer much nicer effect than a lamp does so let's get started really quickly as you can see if it's zero on my numpad we can go into the camera's view and we have a very nice scene set up here with Suzanne the monkey and uh, we have this point lamp the default point lamp that blender always comes with if I go ahead we're in blender render right now if I go ahead and go to uh, render viewport shading you can see how pretty much disgusting that is it's not it's not good at all but of course once again this is blender render if I switch on over to cycles it gets a little bit better as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to uh, put on bordered so it only renders what's in the camera and I'm also going to go ahead hit use nodes on my background and drop that to solid black you can see these are all of the spaces the light is hitting so we're getting a little bit and move that cursor we're getting a little getting a lot on the top of her head on her uh, on our eyebrows here or arcs on her eyes a lot on her uh, on her left ear our right side and a little tiny rim light there a little bit on her nose and a little tiny bit on her chin in the bottom of her mouth here um, so this is fairly decent and like I said if I go ahead and I grab this this point lamp and hit G to move it down you can see it gets a bit a bit brighter we can move it around to different areas to get a different effect of course like always but what's gonna really change this effect is going over to the lamp settings and, and choosing Sun uh, you can see the difference that that has already it has a bit more of a directional type of feel to it like for example this is coming straight from the left hand side or this is coming straight from the right hand side or from the top or whatnot so that looks pretty cool in some specific situations but if you're trying to light something evenly and nicely and soft um, you're not gonna want to go with lamps so I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna go ahead and go back out of uh, render viewport shading and we're gonna go ahead and, and add shift a plane we're gonna add in a plane and it has to scale that up to about right there something kind of large um, and what I'm gonna do is go to the materials tab we're gonna drag open our right hand side panel here and I'm going to go ahead and choose a material. This material uh, will be, will use the nodes and it will use an emission shader. And the color will be whatever color you want. Of course, I'm going to stick with white for the time being. If I go ahead and double tap R to rotate this uh, freely and then hit G to move it about over here. Uh, what you can see if I go ahead and go back to rendered viewport shading is that we have a very nice soft light coming from her left hand side coming from her right hand side our left hand side um, and you can see just how much nicer this is than let's let's say if I were to go ahead and add in a lamp again what lamp whoa lamp lamp, lamp. oh no, I'm I, I'm out of it uh, if I go ahead and add in a sun lamp which would most likely be the equivalent maybe we can go with a point lamp uh, adding a point lamp in the exact same area and hide that plane you can see this is pretty much what we're going to be getting if we add that point lamp exactly right here. I'll even turn the strength up to kind of compensate for the largeness of the plane. We'll go ahead and do the same render. And you can see it's not that great. We can even try and get it to be as close as is possible. But once again, if I were to go ahead and move this, this point lamp and then unhide our giant plane, you can see just how much more soft that is. Um, and I'll go ahead and instead of being able to see this giant white, let me go ahead and turn the uh, passer part out uh, down. There we go. If I, uh, if we, you can see this giant plane here. We don't need that. We need to go ahead and go to the object data tab, which is the orange cube as always. Go down to cycle settings and turn off camera. Um, and, and also shadow if you're using, you know, shadows. And if, if there's any way that that could be emitted onto something. But camera and shadow what we're gonna do so you can see just how soft and realistic this lighting is it's actually very very gorgeous if I go ahead and hit shift D while holding down our while selecting our lamp you can see I can duplicate that lamp that that plane sorry and move it to the other side and now we have a very soft very even light on our monkey head I can go ahead and and rotate these around so we get a bit more of a uh, rim light maybe I'm gonna put this right behind her and kinda get that coming off the back of her um, you can see if I were to go ahead and take a look at this now you can see we have much more of a rim light on the backhand side if I go ahead and get rid of this first plane altogether you can see we have just a rim light which is very nice looking 
um, but I go ahead and add that other plane back in you can see we have something quite nice if you want to change the color or intensity of a specific plane by itself you will actually have to create a new instance of the material since obviously it's working off of the same material um, it's not a lamp it's it's an, it's the same material so they're both going off of the same first material I call this plane one and now you can see both of the planes are using plane one to fix this we'll go ahead and hit three right there and it'll duplicate that uh, material and I'll type plane two and now if we swap back and forth you can see we have plane one and plane two separately I go ahead and change the rim light color to a yellow um, something like that and the left hand side uh, will duplicate this uh, this left hand side once again and we'll rotate it just a little bit um, and then I'll hit the three once again and we'll change this to plane three and we'll change this color to a blue and the first one will be uh, orange now we'll do we'll do pink now we'll do eh, we'll do we'll do like an orangish red yeah sure um, and if we give this a render, you can see we have all three of those different colors. The orange from the left, the blue from the right, and the white from the back are all merging together, which is really, really nice uh, together. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick and very simple tutorial on how to create a bit more soft, realistic light in your scene. It's insane. So I guys, I hope I hope you guys learn something new. I hope you guys will use this technique to your advantage when you're lighting your scenes. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.